welcome in. I'm Rin and this is my floss tube channel and today we're doing day eight of Flossmas. Um, if you want any more background on kind of what I'm doing and all the stuff I'm talking about, you, uh, if you haven't watched the first Flossmas video, I kind of go into a little more about all my advents I'm doing and all that. Okay, so uh, first off, let's show off an old uh, like holiday finish. I have this Santa Bulbasaur. <laughs> so this pattern is from So Nerdy by Brie. And um, you can find all her patterns on her Etsy store. I put this cute little gingerbread people fabric on the back. And um, <clears throat> I got this with printed snowflakes on the fabric. Uh, I think that's a standard like spike art one you can get or something. But um, yeah, he's so cute. Uh, if you've been, you know, watching my channel or follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that I've done like 12 months of Bulbasaur. So I'm gonna show off a few of the, the winter ones here. Okay, and to do today, our floss tuber. You know, I realized yesterday that for some reason I was doing number eight on some stuff. <laughs> like I open the eighth door on the jam and I open the eighth door on the popcorn thing and I, I realized I did number eight that I had on here and I don't, I don't know but then some other stuff I did seven so I can't I can't number <laughs> so we're gonna go back and we're gonna do like the number the one I had for number seven which is my friend Joe stitchy cat lady <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Joe is a really great person. Um, if you like cats, there's usually cats featured on the channel, which is always great. <laughs> little, little furry friends. And of course her projects are, are wonderful. She does uh, uh, some Joan Elliott patterns. Like I, I've done a few, well, one? <laughs> I don't know if I've done more than one Joan Elliott. Oh well, it's fine. I have more patterns. I'll get to them someday. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, go check her channel out. She's another one of my friends in the coven. <laughs> Make it sound way more mysterious than it is. Okay, um, I realized yesterday I forgot to show what I've been working on. So I was working on the temperature stitch along, which people really seem to enjoy seeing on, on Instagram. So you can see we're down here working on November and you can see it was really hot this summer. <laughs> uh, I'm doing this project with Derek, my husband, and I don't know, I don't, it, it's been fine, but I don't think I'd do a project with him again because we just stitch kind of differently. He, he leaves all these like really long tails and I'm just like, mm. <laughs> We, we kind of got to the point where we've learned to just, I do like front, the front part and he does the second part and um, we don't have to like really bother with each other's stitches. This is a really fun one. I don't, I don't think I'd do another temperature stitch because obviously it doesn't look as fun in Florida because it's just the red, really hot. <laughs> eh. And then yesterday, <clears throat> I finished this pattern and this is one from 8-Bit Stitch and the fabric is from Easy Stitch for Fun and they both are um, stores on Etsy. Uh, so Easy Stitch for Fun sells a lot of really cool printed fabric. You can see it's just, it's just on the front. Um, but yeah, I just thought with the way this is with the outlines and just the um, the back stitch, it's Krennic in there, and I but I don't think the sparkly is gonna really show up. But I thought with seeing so much of the fabric with these, it'll look really cool on like a rainbow effect. And I finally found the fabric and I was like, yes, this is perfect. So yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that one. <laughs> okay, we should get um, rolling on Advent stuff. Okay, real quick. Um, I got uh, this one again, the Happy Holiday Tea, which is like green tea with cinnamon, pomegranate, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, and pepper. 
And then the jam today, which was actually supposed to be the jam yesterday, but I, I don't know what I was doing. This is raspberry dark chocolate spread. Now that's definitely one they did not have last year. Mm, that sounds really good. <laughs> and I am disappointed. I opened up my popcorn door today and there was nothing in there. It was empty. And I kind of like looked around to see if it like shifted. No, nope, it's just empty. And I was like, what? So all I get is a joke today. What is Popcorn's favorite game show? Crystal Maze. Is that a British thing? <laughs> Cause I don't recognize that. <laughs> all right, hit me up in the comments if you know what they're talking about. <laughs> Because I don't. Either I'm too young or I'm on the wrong continent. <laughs> uh, all right. What we got in here today? Feels like floss. I know you're shocked. Probably going to be Classic Color Works. Oh, it is. Grasshopper. Oh, that was really, that was really nice. It's a nice green. Mm, yeah nice that is pretty um also gonna show off a little something i went to joanne's yesterday and i got a copy of love embroidery because look at this project i haven't done a whole lot of embroidery but i want to try out some more and it's just so cute so cute um <clears throat> someday i'll get to that <laughs> on. <laughs> All right, today we got a little bag clip of some sort. Wow. <laughs> today we have Masters of the Universe. <laughs> oh, I'm such an 80s kid. Okay, so we could get He-Man, She-Ra, Tila, Man-at-Arms, Mossman, Skeletor, Trapjaw, Triclops, Hordak, and then there's some exclusives. It looks like it's his um, pet tiger. Uh, the exclusives, which the name is escaping me right now, and I'm sure somebody will tell me in down in the comments. Okay. Oh, I hope it's a cool one. Hey, Skeletor's not bad. Wah, <laughs> <laughs> Skeletor. I cannot do the voice. <laughs> he's kind of, he's like ugly cute. <laughs> I love the detail they put on his little staff. Like that's, uh, let me hide behind it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He's, uh, that's funny. I like that one. I would maybe hope for She-Ra or Tila, but alas, Skeletor. <laughs> Oh, a few other things um, I show. So <clears throat> there's an online place called Her Universe and they sell clothes and it was uh, started by the, the voice actor for Ahsoka Tano on um, the Clone Wars uh, cartoon. And I ordered um, some pants and which I've so far, I've gotten two pairs of pants and one skirt from there and they've been really nice. And since I spent $50, they sent me this really cute Ewok pin Ew. Look at that, he's so cute. Which, yes, I'm totally gonna make that into a needle minder. But also it's cool because it's like numbered and it came with her signature, which is neat. Um, I'm still gonna make it into a needle minder because I don't have all that many Christmassy ones. And before we get into our movie, um, I did get another movie yesterday. I know you're shocked, shocked. Um, I was at Best Buy and I picked up My Best Friend as a Vampire. It's been a really long time since I've seen this, so I only sort of vaguely remember it. But they carded me for it, which was hilarious, because it's like a PG movie from 1988. <laughs> Even the cashier was like, I don't know why I'm carding you for this. <laughs> Computer systems, man. So I'll be watching this at some point. Um, yeah, it's, it's been digitally restored. Ooh. 
Okay, and um, what Christmas movie did I watch yesterday? I watched Love Actually. So I've never seen this before. I don't really watch a lot of dramas or romance movies or any of that sort of stuff. I have thoughts about this movie. I'm gonna apologize in advance if you like this movie. There were parts that I liked, but <clears throat> I, I understand it's 20 years old. Can't really hold it to the same standard we have today, but man, those people need therapy, like most of them. So some of those relationships were just really bad. Alan Rickman's character was, he was a real shit bag. You know, I don't cuss on here a lot, but I think if you've seen the movie, you know, he he was a terrible person. <laughs> I love Alan Rickman. He was he was great. I, I loved him so many things. And yeah, he was really good at, at playing a terrible person, but it's just like, wow, your character is awful. <laughs> and like most of the things are all like, oh, let me stand in, in out in the street and profess my love for my best friend's wife. What? <laughs> Like, really, the only redeeming storylines in that, like, that were completely, like, not, or without issues, like, Liam Neeson and the kid, and he's trying to, like, help her win over the girl, and that was cute. And then the two people that are, like, stand-ins, which is hilarious, because, like, they meet each other, and they're having to do all these, like, pretend all these sex scenes filling in for the actors, and they're, like, naked and stuff, and then they're, like, all nervous on their date. It's just, so, it's cute. Oh, that part's cute. So there's, there's two. The guy who goes to America, that looked like it escaped out of uh, a National Lampoon movie and just like inserted itself into this movie. I was like, what the hell's going on here? I mean, you had Shane and Elizabeth and De Denise Richards and I'm just like, this is a different movie. It's not, this can't be the same movie as the rest of this movie with like Emma Thompson and Alan Rickman and Liam Neeson. Like, I don't know where that part came from. Anyway. I don't know if I'll be watching that again. <laughs> Ooh, a lot going on in that movie. Anyway, we're going to move on. We're going to see what I got today. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry if you really like that movie. Yeah, you can like what you want. I like stuff people don't like. <laughs> oh. Oh. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh. Gosh, I haven't seen this in forever. So much nostalgia this month. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to watch this. It's been a really long time. You know, Rick Moranis was so big in the 80s, and then he just sort of disappeared, and I, I didn't find out until recently this is because his wife passed away, and he basically dropped out of acting to take care of his kids, which, I mean, good for him. Like, that's a good father, you know? He, his kids needed him and he was like, I'm, I'm just going to do that. You know, this, despite like having a really like burgeoning career that was going well, but Hey, you do, you do what you got to do. Right. But yeah. Oh man. I remember this is so big when I was a kid, such, such a popular movie, but yeah, that'll be a fun one to watch later. <laughs> All right, going a little long today, rambling about assorted uh, sundry things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go. I gotta go grocery shopping, and I hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>